So we're standing in the aging room here at Smoking Goose, and it kind of smells a little bit like brie, like that rind that you yeah. have on Bloomy Rind cheeses. I mean, yeah. there's just a lot of aroma, and it's kind of cold, and it's a little bit damp. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely what you feel and smell is also what the salami feels and smells, and spending this much time in here, it'll eventually take on part of that, so. All of these meats are moldy, mm -hmm. and they're supposed to be. Yep. This is part of the natural aging process. So explain what this beneficial mold is doing sure. um, to the meat and how it gets there and and why this is um, something that you're actually trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah, and believe it or not, I mean, and similar to cheese, uh, we want it for two main reasons. One is to fight off any bacteria or molds that we don't want. So the stronger that our mold and our flora is in this room, the less likely we are to take on any undesirable mold. And then the second reason is to help the drying process. Uh, without the molds, it'll dry too quickly on the surface and we'll get what we call like case hardening, oh, where the outside dries quicker than the center. We want a real even slow drying process and the mold helps protect the surface from drying too rapidly. So some of them have like blue spots, kind mm -hmm. of like blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Others kind of have a really fuzzy, almost puffy yep. um, surface to them, kind mm -hmm. of like a brie. Yep. Are those different molds? Are they the same? They're all the same. They all start out the same. They typically change based on the amount of uh, fermentable sugars. The color in some of these molds are good, you know, the green, light blue, I mean, really light gray is kind of ideal. But a lot of those things can happen from what's in the air or what is in the salami as well. Some of them are not desirable and some of them, are, you know, we fight off constantly. And we do that through different ways. We do it through brushing and cleaning, washing with acidification, oh, that wow. sort of thing that'll help uh, eliminate those. That's all part of keeping a really healthy room and a healthy environment and keeping your mold really strong. So when you take a freshly tied sausage and you pull it in here or, you know, the, the slabs of, of, you know, bellies that are hanging, do you apply anything or do you just sit it in the room and just let it do its thing? Yeah, by that point, if it's a salami or a sausage, we've inoculated it with a uh, bacteria. Okay. And then it's gone through fermentation. Uh, so during that fermentation, it's in an environment that promotes the growth of that uh, bacteria. That's typically about 80 degrees. Um, can take about 36 hours for that. Also in that process, it starts to drop the pH level. You know, we're trying to reach a specific pH. A lot of that has to do with the quality of animals that we're buying and how they're raised, how they're being slaughtered, all those types of things. And then the introduction of bacteria will further lower that pH so that it's, it's stable enough that we can age it in a room like this, but not so low that it's gonna retain water further. So that's a, you know, an, an important step in the process. This is Dodge City, one of our original ones. This is pink peppercorns and fennel pollen. So it's kind of our style of a Pinocchiono. This is Delaware Fireball. Pork shoulder, color trim, and then espalette pepper, smoked paprika, black pepper, and then salt cultures. This is Culatello, which is boneless, part of the ham. We do that one a little bit different than our bone in ham. That one is just red wine and salt. And then those are stuffed into a bladder, tied real beautifully and aged. Those are about um, nine to 12 months age. Your prosciutto that's hanging yeah. over here. Yeah. Those are yep. gorgeous. Yeah, they're awesome, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> How long have they been hanging there? I'd have to check, but I think we probably have some that are approaching maybe three to four years. Seriously? Uh, yeah. And I think the oldest one we've ever had has been almost five years. The idea of leaving meat to hang for years yeah. is probably almost a foreign concept to most people who are like, you should eat meat immediately or right. it's going to spoil. Yeah. But before refrigeration, before mm -hmm. uh, freezers, when you slaughter your hogs or slaughter your cows, you have to find a way to preserve that, mm -hmm. um, that harvest. Yeah. And this is the way that it was done. Yeah, it's amazing that it's, you know, gone on this long.